what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about screen five again and talking about some of the possibilities of what could happen tomorrow on august 2nd since we know that is west craven's birthday we know that there has been a hashtag going around hashtag for west amongst the scream crew the crew that has worked on screen five radio silence and all the other people that were involved as in regards to the recent images that we got of them working on the final touches of the film and we know we saw that they were going back to the original in credit style in these images and they were just working on finishing up the film they took pictures they shared it some people that shared those photos have removed them and now it's kind of just been silent like they're just nothing we are being told that the movie is coming out on january 14th 2022 and the reason i'm saying we're being told that is because of the recent delay that happened with the clifford film so we're all hoping and praying that this clifford debacle is just something that's specifically related to clifford and not something that's going to be setting the stage for more movies getting delayed so we'll we'll see if they stick to the january 14th date that is supposed to come out next year but we have been speculating this is just something that the fans started we are anticipating that because of the hashtag for west maybe they'll do something very very special on his birthday now the thing we all want for the most part i'll say i think it's safe to assume we all for the vast majority we want to see our first teaser now this teaser if it were to happen i don't now think that we should necessarily see too many things from the actual film itself what i would want to see maybe is a couple of headshots of all the new cast members all the new characters from different moments in the film and then just a voiceover from roger l jackson kind of just to hype up that ghost face is back and then maybe ending the teaser on nev campbell picking the phone up or something to that degree or just appearing on screen as sydney prescott and then it says scream and then the words coming soon or just having the release date january 14 2022 and then that's the end of the teaser just a simple maybe minute long or 30 second clip of all the new characters mixed in with the old characters with them having their little head shots from different moments of the film where we have those shots of them all getting to see their faces and then while all this is being portrayed on screen there's like a dark ominous feel to it and roger l jackson is providing like a narration over the course of this minute long teaser trailer or how the teaser could happen is we could see something again like in the style of how the scream 3 trailer was where it goes over the rules but in this one they go over something a little bit different in how scream reinvigorated the franchise back in 1996 etc etc and then saying coming in 2022 that reinvigoration or whatever you want to call it that redefined the genre is going to be back for more and then it ends right there or maybe we hear a small voice picking up the phone that it clearly will be nev campbell picking up the voice as sydney prescott once again and then the teaser just just ends after we hear one little slight jab or something from ghostface the other thing that could come of course would be our first official steal from the film with the trio back and and i'll just take that back i don't necessarily want to see an official steal from the from the film of the trio that would be nice but maybe more so something that's not based in the film world but something of them on set together and they take a picture or something like that but then again i know a lot of us have speculated that they weren't even on set at the same time nev david and courtney that being i think we all believe david left before they got there or something to that effect we could get an image of them and then something just honoring Wes and how important they he was to this to this franchise and how they look forward to continuing the legacy he started on january 14th the other thing we could get is just an official steal of all the new characters once again and just hyping up the film in some way off of that we could get several official stills tomorrow we again of course may not get nothing again we're just speculating on things that we should expect tomorrow um or should be anticipating to potentially happen tomorrow not to say that there's anything officially coming tomorrow we're just all again associating this hashtag for west now with this man's birthday you would think that they would want to honor him in some way now i'm just going to throw this out there just because I, I i feel like i have to well i don't have to but those of you who watch my videos you know that i'm a big fan of hers <laughs> it'd be very 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 exciting and now again i know they should save it for for the film i'm not saying they should do this but i i wouldn't be upset if they announced 
of Hayden Panzier's participation in Screen 5 tomorrow. I, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't. And then, of course, line that up with the tweet that we know Wes Craven tweeted out 10 years ago to the exact date that Screen 5 is supposed to come out as well. I just want to point that out. I think that would be something that would get people very excited just to announce her participation in the film. Or maybe not even announce it, but just kind of play on the fact that people are anticipating her and they know that she'll be in it. But without officially confirming it, they just put something out there to get everyone talking about it, get everyone buzzing. So I think that would be a cool thing to do. The other thing that we could get would be something concerning the cast just behind the scenes taking pictures and maybe something that they're holding up that has to do with Wes Craven. And there's just a big happy birthday post to him and how they just pay respect to him and how they are just going to be saying how they again cannot wait for january to come around and continue the legacy that this man had created with this franchise and many other films that he did of course before this he he made a name for himself in the horror genre way before scream was ever a thing so it was only very fitting when you think about it that he would be the one now poking fun at the same genre that many people think he was a master at when it comes to his other films that are not scream related we could get that the whole teaser thing i know that's what most of us would want i'm not saying i wouldn't want that again i just think that if it were a teaser it shouldn't necessarily be something that's overly filled with scenes from the movie itself it should be a teaser that is showing just mostly headshots of different characters throughout moments of the film with a voice narration of or with a voice narration from rather roger l jackson back as ghostface and it should end either on either sam but i know that's probably not going to be the biggest marketing strategy the biggest marketing strategy if you want to market this i guess to the biggest audience possible you would end the teaser with nev campbell clearly back at sydney prescott with her answering the phone or something if that's how the teaser were to play out of course so i know we're all anticipating and we hope that they'll drop something tomorrow again don't get your hopes up about it I hope something drops. I just I just hope it does. But if it's something that's related to Screen 5, expect it to be one of the things I've talked about in this video. It could be something different. It could be the official poster, actually, too. Just keep that in mind. They may not drop anything, but let's hope that they do. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.